What's going on guys, it's Jho bringing you a brand new video and today we're back with more Destiny 2. So in this video we got more Shadow Keep news coming out of Gamescom, so let's get straight into it. First of all, we got a closer look at the artifact slot as well as some of the exclusive seasonal mods that are coming out of it as well. So we got the Gate Lord's Eye artifact. It looks like this is going to be the artifact for Season of the Undying since we know that Vex is going to be a big part of this season. So some of this could change before the final release of Shadow Keep, but it gives us an idea of some of the perks and some of the stuff related to the artifact itself so let's get into some of these so we got some new mods coming out of it and again these are seasonal mods that are exclusive to each season so once the season changes all these mods will go away we're gonna get a new artifact and then we're gonna have to level up and get new mods for that season itself so we're gonna have to level up the artifact and then as you level it up you unlock more mods from the artifact and so it looks like in this final tier is where the best mods are coming from. Uh, you can tell this based on the energy cost as well. So the energy cost is pretty high for some of these final column mods that are coming from the artifact. Uh, they're ranging from 5 to 7 in energy costs. Um, so we got to look at some of these. So let's take a look at it. So the first one we got is Thunder Coil. It's a 6 energy cost mod for the class item. And it says grant bonus damage for all arc melee abilities and refund super energy on finisher final blows. So it relates to the finisher once again. We know that the finisher isn't just for looks and isn't just a nice way to finish off enemies. But it also will provide us with benefits. So slotting these for your finishers can also benefit you and your fire team as a whole as well and then the next one we got is called arc battery it costs five energy and it also is a class item mod this one says grants overshield and reduce cooldown during activation for all arc class abilities so actually a really good mod especially if you're running those arc subclasses and then moving on to the next one we got one called oppressive darkness another one for your class item and this one costs six energy this one says causing damage with a void grenade adds a weakened effect to enemies so it looks like it has a similar effect to melting point the the only difference is you need to use a void grenade to cause this weaken effect to your enemies. So uh, pretty interesting. And then the next one we got is called Heavy Finisher, another class item mod. This one costs 7 energy. And this one states, finishers generate heavy ammo and it requires one half of your super energy to use. So this one's pretty interesting. It has a pretty high energy cost to equip, but it is a really good perk in my opinion. Uh, getting heavy ammo off of finishers is definitely a bonus. I think it's going to work for your whole fire team or I don't know if it's just for you but they did state that some of these will benefit not just you but your whole fire team in general. So especially if it does help your whole fire team then it's definitely a really good investment. Also it does require one half of your super energy so that's kind of a cost as well. But it's still a really good perk, especially for end game activities when you need heavy to do a lot of damage and to do DPS and stuff like that. So definitely an interesting perk. Um, it does have its trade-offs, but still a really solid as well. And then we also got some exclusive weapon mods from the artifact slot as well. That's why it has a zero energy cost next to it. And so for this first one, it's called anti-barrier rounds, and it's only usable on auto rifles and some machine guns. It states shield piercing rounds designed to bypass combatant defenses, strong against barrier champions. So it looks like some of these mods are going to be specific against certain enemies as well. And then the next one is the same thing except for hand cannon, so an anti-barrier hand cannon mod. And it does shield piercing rounds once again for those same types of enemies. And then the last weapon mod that we got to look at is called Overload Rounds. And it's only usable once again for SMGs and auto rifles. This one says uninterrupted fire grants bullets that cause disruption, delaying ability energy regeneration, and lowering combatant damage output. Strong against overload champions. So pretty interesting. We got specific mods that are beneficial for certain types of enemies as well. And again, we got some exclusive armor perks for Armor 2.0 and all that stuff coming out of the artifact. So you can kind of tell that the artifact mods are gonna be a little bit different. So some of them may seem stronger than some of the normal mods and also they're denoted by a different color as well. Um, so you can kind of tell which are the artifact mods when you equip some of them, when you unlock them, and then you slot them into your armor or weapons as well. So some of these are really good and they're gonna benefit for end game activities, for specific activities that include the specific enemy types as well. We got a sneak peek at some exclusive mods with some of this new footage at gamescom a lot more stuff to talk about as well so stay tuned for all of that thank you guys for watching once again 
I will catch you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.